IHS, advancing decisions that advance the world. Well, following the boom in unconventional production in North America, energy investors and companies have been looking to other markets to see if they can replicate their success elsewhere. Now, in Europe, Poland has attracted a lot of attention. Uh, the major IOCs are piling in ExxonMobil, Shell, Total, ConocoPhillips, all bought up significant acreages. And more recently, the U.S. Energy Information Administration released an estimate suggesting around 180 trillion cubic feet of gas beneath the ground in Poland. That's roughly 300 times average annual consumption. So there's a lot of excitement, a lot of speculation. For the time being, it's probably going to remain that way. We don't see uh, significant production before 2020. Well, in the immediate future, we don't think there's going to be a significant impact on Poland's energy outlook. Uh, that's largely because of a lack of infrastructure in Poland. You compare the Baltic state with somewhere like Texas or Oklahoma, there's a very dense network of pipelines and uh, processing facilities in, in North America. That isn't really there in Poland. Equally, the geology is different, uh, so it's going to take time to actually explore and learn how to uh, extract the gas from those sort of situations. Looking further ahead, however, we do see significant uh, production potential. Uh, Poland could even become a gas exporter, and that's obviously going to have significant implications on demand for gas from Russia and potentially on Poland's generation mix, which is currently very heavily reliant on coal. Well, so far, the Polish government seems to be trying to hedge its bets against uh, having a significant production or not. So they're pressing ahead with the development of an LNG regasification terminal on the Baltic coast. Uh, equally, they're seeking to speed up the development of two new nuclear power plants, and that's obviously going to depress demand for gas. So these suggest uh, that they're, they're not expecting significant domestic potential. On the other hand, uh, they recently shortened uh, an, an import contract with Gazprom. Uh, now, that suggests that some in Warsaw are fairly bullish on uh, potential development. Perhaps the most revealing reaction we've seen so far has been the uh, state oil and gas company's response to the French decision to ban hydrofracking. Uh, the government and uh, the, the state's energy company have uh, criticized this move very heavily and warned the EU uh, against trying to uh, expand this legislation across the rest of the continent. So this perhaps tells us that the the, the Polish government isn't so much worried about geology or infrastructure, they're more worried about regulatory risk. IHS, advancing decisions that advance the world.